By your sweet, sweet, sweetest Princess Silk. Here I am, the sweet Princess Silk. Smooth, soft, generous, kind. Sharing my wisdom with you here on my Atacolacho. So cute it now, without secretary, who had to work while the bitch from in front. The quack 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 bitch, because she had no sense of propriety and no boundaries. So she would go and quack quack queen it. How I had helped El Senor Coca with his alcoholism and on and on. But you know, she is not German. She may speak German, but she doesn't know how to write well German or Spanish. Well, her boss was German and he had no work. Particularly, he's a technical director. He deals and lives with diagrams, not with letters. He couldn't really understand how bad qualified his secretary was. So QNET would not allow a letter having a mistake. Well, not one mistake. And at the time, well, there were no computers, no computers. We had to use a mechanical typewriter and we had to put like a few papers behind on the back of the original with some carbon paper in between to copy what had been written in the beginning. So if there would be a typo, yeah, there is a way to kind of amend it in the first, in the original, although it's never really that kosher, but not in the copies. And she would make many typos. So Kunet would of course return the corrected letters and now she had to write them again and again and again and yet again. Because she couldn't read well. I don't think she could see well too. And she was maybe too too much of a, 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 a on a quest now to find someone who gives her <laughs> to wear lens glasses. So Kunet was out of his mind obnoxious little rouch sitting in front of him disturbing his peace and not allowing him to perform properly while his work with the shit and then alas well there is a solution see the larger bitch the german one pauli's uh, you know assistant she had a new typewriter which was had, had been delivered as i was still working it's a brother one and it's one of those the first and the only one you could type things in and on the screen you can see what you just typed and if you would be okay with that then you click enter and it would actually type it on your paper it took me 48 hours to figure out how that thing works because Hess bought one the previous job he got one he put it there in front of me I said here you go figure yeah I had to read instructions and all that it was very sophisticated particularly for the times this had not been existing Two days I was working on it to find it out. And here it is, I got it. And that, that's the type thing I work with. So it's now in Siemens, the bitch in front. Now I'm gonna tell you her, you know, tell you her name, Margot. That's her name, Margot. Yama like an ocean and God like in God. As Margot got one of those, no, she was too old to understand. So I looked at it and I said, oh, that's cool. Well, I don't know how it works. Yeah, of course she doesn't. So I said, I show you. I know how it works. Well, but she kind of never got to it, right? Oh, she was afraid of that shit. So, and then Pauli asked her, what about, what about her boss? What about the typewriter? Because first she said, no, Zilkin knows how, how, how it works. But I thought I kind of, she never, I, I, I kind of got to it to actually learn it. Or to ask her to show me, and then Pauli was silent because how how yeah, how I mean you have the entire day you have no work, how come you not gotten to it? Yeah, she was too busy gossiping. Now Cunet got wind too, so there is this machine and nobody knows how to use it. There's no problem for Cunet. Just call call brother, 
call the company, man. Yeah, what company? There's no company. Remember Vico? I work for Vico. The Japanese company wanted to, you know, touch market and base in, in Mexico. Never established. Brother didn't exist. I will call another one. Well, call somebody. Call technical assistance. Anything. Yeah, call. But there was nobody to find because there is no one in the entire country who knew how that thing worked or could make it happen. Because it took my big brains to understand how it works. Oops. <laughs> missed it i was the only qualified person out there man in direction in the direction and the others were just shit i was so lonely as i worked in demons you have no idea so lonely i just helped my my stem i mean i mean that's it i couldn't count on anything or anybody i didn't saw raul in demons yeah, maybe I walked in once because I had to work the, the boss of that uh, department. But maybe I saw him there from afar or high, but that's all. Yeah, then as I was eating at the large dining hall, there there was Raul and people from his department and Coca. But otherwise, I, I, I was lonely. Do you have 20 min 25 minutes to eat? Do you have no time to actually talk with people? So, yate fregaste kune. And ya chingue. I mean, you really metiste la pata kune. I mean, seriously. No, I'll translate that, princess. You fucked off, man. You fucked it. You messed up, kune. Get it? No, it was triumphant, in a way. As I said, yeah, well, I'm off, Kunit. I'm gone. Yes, yeah, of tomorrow, I'm not here. And he upset. He was, I mean, he was really angry. I could see him like, no, he couldn't say anything. What is there to say? He just typed my letter. I don't think he is into useless runs. And then his wife, of course, she got hint. Because of the chauffeur, Felix, he loved me too. He was young and handsome and way overweight. Yeah, overweight of uselessness. Him and the chauffeurs, they were just sitting there. I mean, the three chauffeurs, they were sitting, hanging the entire day next to the car. And then they sit in the car. I mean, ugh. I looked at that. He's so young and already overweight. Just so because he has nothing to do and just eats. What a damn job that is to be chauffeur. Like, it do it a day or a week but like the entire life and not even driving that's kind of weird so of course felix he told he told his wife what kunit had done because they can't shut up <laughs> she had to just spill it out man spill the beans man so his wife said what, what happened to him you what why why would you do such a horrible move? You sent her to what? To a down, down below job on your on the rank and offer qualifications and lower pay. Why? What for? Klaus, <laughs> I think that was his name. Klaus Kunit, KK, and Kunit. Yeah, uh, uh. because you rem remember the man. They had to be living in hiding. I know he couldn't hide because he was already out there. The beans. That's all. And then Pauli got in, the director, general director, that Kuna did such a thing. And now he's in, in, in dire need of a secretary. And didn't, didn't it cost you like forever to find Zilke? Klaus, Pauli said, mentioned or thought. Didn't you have a few, and I mean, wasn't it so hard to get? Why would you just, I mean, are you insane? So Pauli sent Kuna for a medical exam. What really what he wanted to know if he's on drugs. He couldn't send him to a psychological evaluation quite yet. I don't know, for some aesthetic reasons. But Pauli said that Kunit lost it, that he lost his marbles. So he kind of hid it, so maybe some drugs, so he sent him to a medical examination. Yeah, because they do blood tests and stuff. He didn't know what to do because Kunit was like, what the heck? And every man in Siemens was smiling, was chuckling, because they all got it. Which, of course, I, Princess, could not understand. Because when a man is in love and not well responded, he does brutalities and barbaridades, barbarities. 
That means I bent Kunit back over. Who is head over heels for me? <laughs> With my sweet softness, I have no interest in Senor Kunit. I mean, no interest. He was the ogre and he was not friendly with me. It was a formality every morning, uh, you know, every day, whatever work that was, it was just work. I had no respect for him as a person. Why would I? He wasn't approachable as a person. That means he's a tiny little sissy. <laughs> yeah, well, and what, I don't give a rat's ass and a damn of what his economic situation he figured there for Siemens. I don't even care for Siemens. Because those companies, I don't know Siemens, but all these large, large German companies, ultimately in the Second World War, then devoted themselves to the war equipment. And then pharmaceutical, which is another type of war. I don't have any respect for any of that shit. But like everybody else who do a job in a way, but in the world where everything is kind of crooked and, and not nice and you don't look at it. Yeah, I model for Kellogg, Kellogg's cereal yeah i actually half naked <laughs> no i had a towel wrapped around in a sauna spa with other girls a commercial was filmed and for nike i was a model for nike and for chrysler which i would never buy that damn car because at the time you're young you need a job you got a job you don't think about the brand you work for yeah you had not the means to actually say no thank you because then what <laughs> i mean honestly what So I bent Kunit over back, everybody saw it. And he was hurting, because only hurting men do such nasty, stupid, horrible moves. I remember Sandoval's office place. Okay, so there is the Department of Finances, right? All the way on the other side of the hallway. You And there's plenty of people. And all the way to the left, there's Fikachi. He's very young, has an extra large head. He's not, he doesn't look that bright, but uh, bright enough to be the boss of finance apartment, right? And above him is Sandoval. He is some fat person. Uh, he looked like Felix, but older. Like the chauffeur, but older. Which sits all the way to the back, and everything is kind of dark. I remember everything dark, like his office is dark. The table in front, where the secretary sits, with view over the entire finance department. But a little bit on a niche, a little bit separate. Where she said there, there was not, not a secretary and it was just dark. Like there were no work. I don't know if that really happened or if it just the emotional quality I got. There were no work. It was empty, deployed. So and that's what Kunit had sent me now. I should sit there. That would have been a blast. With the finance department and Raul there, we would have had a great day every day. <laughs> a blast, for saying the least. Yeah, but Raul, I think he was already gone the second time. <laughs> so he wasn't there any longer. And it was very neat and very clean, uh, the large finance uh, department. Well, let's go back. I bent him over back. Because he was hurting. So he's got a heart? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else is there. I can't find anything. Let me move forward to what I do know what happened. So I didn't study at the university and I went to France and I came back, I continued studying. I did the foundation and now I sang. And immediately as I began my studies as a singing, I had been singing in Germany for many years. I became the soloist and the diva, the most prettiest girl ever, singing twice in a year. And then there was this large event and that was at uh, the La Strada, which is a restaurant, which is located very good, nicely. But Cuernavaca by that time had made a community. So La Strada opened a bar and everyone went to the free cocktail. Everyone went. It was amazing how many people I knew, but maybe did not even knew each other, appeared there for the cocktail. So I was. And who was there? Well, first there was Morelmeyer and Josefina Quesada. The rich woman, apparently, right, from society. I had spent Christmas at her house because Pariente sent me to. Oh no, Zilke, she is, um, she is, you know, with her society is the Pariente brothers, which are Italian and French people who are from international realm, who own properties and restaurants and furniture and travel agencies who live all over the world. So Zilke is like from international realm. 
And Naozuka is also the opera diva from Cornavaca. Imagine that. That was Josefina telling Morelmeyer. Morelmeyer worked at Siemens. Morelmeyer is a buyer, a guy from Bavaria. Someone must have said so, but that's exactly how he looks and how he parts himself. He is a subdirector of anything, just to be cast. He's got a belly and he is young, 30 maybe, and or something. And he is from Germany. I have never had any respect for him. I thought, what is this dummy doing here? And I knew immediately, this guy is never gonna make it up to the directorship. He's got as far as he could get. It, lucky he got there because he doesn't deserve that job. I never respected this man because he's just stupid. I didn't lose or hated him because he's just stupid. I can't lose anything where there's nothing there. Now, Model Maya now had engaged with Josefina Casada to my surprise. How is the dummy coming on when the rich ma woman, right? She must maybe not rich. And he had a suit on and a nice one though, as he was standing in front of me. The two were next to each other. They just had engaged in a relationship or something. Yeah, well, maybe in Christmas at, at her party, I showed her who's boss again. Because she was lonely there and had a lot of, I don't know, old folks sitting around the table very formal and very boring and i don't know i just went because robert told me to go and i went i was alone and then she gave us the tour of the house and there was the door and opened the door and that was her son's room which i heard in the field was actually to be hidden her son's room should not have been she kind of missed it because they're losing their head when i'm in present right she she lost it not to open that door or by habit and his, her son was some kind of retard. No, he was not there. I think he was like 13 or 15 and looked like a nine-year-old and behaved like his five-year-old. I don't know. I don't remember how I know what I know. Or maybe she then said it. But his son, her son, had a drum set in his room. And that was after dinner. Yeah, I had a cup of wine and another glass. Wow, can I, can I play? I said very loud and she couldn't say no. Oh, yes. So I ran, I went over to the drum set, I sat down and literally I had played in, in seventh grade once, but I never forgot a Beatles song. And here I was jamming the drums <laughs> like a pro. Yeah, because when you have rhythm, you have rhythm. And I'm a pro, I've got very, imagine, very plenty of rhythm. What? Was that for me the real yesterday? Okay, let me do a dash here, a dash. I have such rhythmical perfection, I know. Well, I was listening recently to that one little thing I did on my flute, and I'm quite impressed. The rhythmical precision in which I play. And yesterday I was told to sing a little bit of a song which I hadn't heard for a long time. Not my song, but it was famous on the radio once. So I kind of travel out with it. I am super impressed. It's so great, because you see rhythm, you don't hear with your ears alone you hear it with the heart with the emotion and when it's rhythmical perfect it feels so great it's like flying and i make myself fly i am quite impressed about what i can do yeah that's what the real with the sightseeing right because i i, I was just ah oh, i opened it and i sang with it i didn't rehearse the practice i didn't hurt i just did it once that's it so here i am jamming the the, the, the drums so imagine, I mean, Josefina now, in a way, he had, she had respect for me or the environment I hence came from. Yeah, because with the same brothers, the parental brothers, I met the director of Bayas Artists and the director of Opera. We were sitting together, have luncheon, <laughs> luncheon at someone else's house. Yeah, six people, man. So, scroll back to the cocktail of that La Strada restaurant. La Strada, Italian name. Yeah, like a Fellini movie precisely a good restaurant informal but cute so here i am and I'm totally surprised that Mordemeyer is standing there what is he doing in Cornavaca? what is he doing with josefina casada he is not a level yeah but i gave her the courage josefina because i had played the drums and with my presence to actually go for a man rich and fine yeah get a man and Mordemeyer was tall to, for her he was like tall as I am, but for her, he was tall. 
and since he was German she thought yeah maybe I can overlook his lack of blue blood <laughs> and it's gonna work out well and then model Maya had another project I tell you right about it so everybody was there and guess who else I turned my, my gaze to the side and who was standing there the bitch from Siemens Pauli's assistant the old German fart standing in my corner waka. what the heck yeah mm, I turned out my subtitles really large I had no clue I had them but yes I was so rage. what the heck are you doing what is she doing here in my corner waka? filthy now corner waka with her filthy presence of farting and blaspheming everybody around her thinking that made her a better person of course why would she be there the old fart because she was lonely she wanted to have like you know some get to know people a new environment <laughs> I looked at her once. Of course I didn't say hi, why would I? They were mean bitches. That's what they were, she and the other one. The entire two years. You don't salute people like that. I should have fired her when I was still working there, but I'm not the one firing those, right? So I looked at her with my large subtitles in how many languages? Maybe three. Get off my back, bitch. So she went, she exited and she never came back. But she saw me with Mordemeyer. Keep that in mind. So Mordemeyer and Josefina are also very joyful. They come together because in a way they both understood that they were not a match. That they were settling for something. Mordemeyer because he wanted maybe to climb social ladder. And Josefina because she didn't got any for like her entire life. Besides that one, once her son was made. <laughs> something like that. And now they invite me, he invites me for a blessing of a hotel he had just finished constructing. Was it now in Cornovaca or outside Cornovaca? I forgot. Yeah, Cornovaca, Tivoslan, Cornovaca. Yeah, somewhere there. I forgot right now. What? Yeah, the bishop is going to come to bless the place. Please join us. Oh, okay, can I bring someone? Yes. I said, what the heck, why are they inviting me? I have nothing to do with them. I never liked Model Maya. In particular, I don't like Josefina either. I'm just a formal person. So, whatever. Someone says something like that in Cornavaca, you just go. So I went, I took my friend Baltrad with me. I don't know, maybe they needed someone who, the glue for their relationship, and I was the glue because they both knew me or whatever that is. Yeah, I just gave you my curricula in view of them, right? Uh, okay, so here's another little dash. Oh no, it's uh, so lined, so lined, underlined. So everybody loved me in Siemens. So the world spoke highest of me. And of course, Model Maya got to hear it too. He didn't know that I didn't like or, dis or disrespected him. How could he know? I don't say anything. I'm silent. Now, who did I see? It's just the way he ported himself as a German, he just couldn't go and do that German thing anymore because I told people that don't get yourself intimidated by someone who is German. Because he's a buyer. Those guys are Catholic and see the confirmation. Who else in Germany would bless a place by the bishop? Germans don't do that shit. Only Catholics do that and that's only Bayern, Bavaria, Bavaria, Bavaria. So he hit me in highest regard now too. Maybe there's something I'm missing. All the things I did. All the beauty I did. And then I went to study. To become a lawyer? <laughs> Whatever. No, I did not. Someone got that wrong. It doesn't matter. It had to be said what had to be said. Because in a way I was. And Cunid Shivering. You know, she's a lawyer and she knows everything about me and look what I did in Siemens and she's gonna oh my god <laughs> I mean even if I would have right you know but now he was actually you know he only couldn't he couldn't exit in Mexico because I didn't allow it <laughs> he had to watch how I wasn't there every day every day and 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 every day he had to watch he couldn't just close that chapter and ask to be put position in anybody in anybody else's place and anywhere on earth no he had to sit there in mexico and watch it and watch and watch how i'm not there <laughs> remember now the bitch in front comes 
of the bitch in front and I sent her out. The bitch in front comes to Cuernavac to that cocktail. I sent her out and then next day, I think it was the next day, I was so shortly after, at the most a week, but I think it was my, more like the next day or something, very shortly after, that I am now in Modelmeier's hotel sitting outside at the lunch table with Modelmeier and Josefina and Waltraud, my friend, who is slim, and I tell, you, I, tell, I tell you, she looks elegant, and I, I always look wonderful and great, particularly on those occasions, in the dresses and all that, and the bishop, five people, nobody else. I still wonder, why am I invited here? What is this? I'm not Catholic. By the bishop, by the way, who forgotten that he told me that I didn't sing like a bird, because he sat right in front of me as I was soloist in the cathedral, the large corner of a cathedral. He slept during the entire concert, and next, left and right, he had somebody else sitting. Yeah, some other man, I, I don't know the hierarchy of the diocese, but something. And as the concert finished, he shook my hand, disgusting. Ugh. How you sing like a bird. <laughs> yeah, man. He forgot that it was me he had talked about. See, they don't give a fuck about people, those people, the Catholic priests. and sh They don't give a shit. Get it? They never give a damn about people. My people, you guys. So here I am sitting and looking. And now the situation is that Waltraud, well, she spoke several languages very well indeed. She is from Salzburg, which is Austria. She was at La Sorbonne in Paris and Mexico for a long time. She was next to the president, Cardenas, with her ex-husband and, and the crew. That's her circles, and she's very studied in psychology, anthropology. She knows a lot of things. So she and I, we reek intellectuality. Or we shine, glorifying at that table, intellectuality. Whereas the Quesada bitch, she only had old-fashioned clothing and rules and regulations to notify that she had a last name which someone gave her probably her father <laughs> she had nothing nothing and Modelmeier of course he had nothing he knew it he was humble next to Josefina because well, she was supposed to be from blue blood right so we are the intellectuals and Modelmeier even though he had to stand up and find himself bowing in a way Understanding the low and low and low rank he had there. I, I reckon that he must have even seen that Josefina was a real dumb bitch. Because those people with rules and regulations, they're not really sexy. <laughs> Why would you want to be with a woman if she isn't sexy? Get my point. With a sister, wait, a daughter, no wait, a sister, in a wheelchair. Because she was whiny. No, it was Josefina's daughter, but nobody knew. She was presented to society as the sister. Ooh, pretty, 20, what, uh, 26 year young. I don't know, she was whiny. She said, I'm just gonna sit in the wheelchair so people feel sorry for me. Totally idiot, I imagine how brain damaged that could have been. So, now this blessing happened. I have no clue, I don't remember any blessing. I am disgusted by those priests or bishops because they're old. Their skin is disgusting, and their faces are ugly, and they have no clue about life, and they're like, ugh, they disgust me. They, they, and my, ugh, everything disgusts me about it. Ugh, never mind. So that little thing event happened to end. And Modelmeier, of course, he wanted to be pretentious. He had a large Mercedes Benz. Yeah, a nice suit in a Mercedes Benz somehow to make it in life because he was too stupid so he could show off a car and a suit I must have brought them in because in the beginning there were no such thing there were no BMWs no Mercedes Benzes in Mexico just didn't exist then yeah I brought in the BMW I must have brought in that one too Mercedes Benz black large Mercedes Benz so Model Maya takes his large black Mercedes Benz you know, in, in La Vispera, looking forward to marry Josefina Quesada, perhaps, or she thinking that's going to happen. And he drives back to Mexico, where he still lives, and he killed himself. He died that night. I don't know why so many people die on that highway. To me, it seems like a great highway. It's smooth, it's new, it's wide, it's pretty, it's awesome. But, yes, there's a lot of curves. But it's a highway, it's a paid highway. 
Now here is the situation where it comes in place to talk about the Straßenlage. I got to travel in many different cars to understand that certain cars are very safe in the way they lay in on the street. How do you even say that in English? It's very important in German manufacturing of cars, of the automobile and automotrix industry, that a car is safe in curves and even when it's raining. And I noticed that my Volkswagen Corsair was absolutely perfection. Volkswagen is really good at that. But like Chrysler, Ford and uh, Lincoln, they're all like flubbering. They're like unsafe cars on the street. Yeah, because of Lalo. He he lent me a car and then lent me another one. And then I helped him driving cars sometimes to the client. So I noticed that too. But I had a few cars as I was settling in Kronovaka before I got my Corsair. And then Valtra lent me her car as she was, you know, away for a while. I mean, she asked me to drive it from time to time because of the battery. So from time to time I took it. They were all shit cars. And I reckon the Mercedes-Benz wasn't a good car. As of Straßenlage, it wasn't a safe car. Because then people maybe go a little bit overboard and they think they can take the curve and the car just doesn't hold it or something. So Mordelmeier killed himself. And why was it important to mention? Remember the bitch, Pauli's assistant, who came to Kornavaka, who I put the subtitles in three languages in very large? Well, <laughs> so can study, so can now, so can as a star here in Kornavaka. She's clearly the, you know, the queen of the show, as you can see. She is the queen of Kornavaka and everybody around. So the bitch looked at me, felt intimidated by my looks, not welcome, kind of got the idea and the notion that she had to exit. And then she understood. She doesn't want me here, and she doesn't like Mordelmeier either, because Mordelmeier, who could like Mordelmeier? No, no one could like him, man. It was too stupid. And Mordelmeier killed himself. If I come back to Kornavaka, she said, what's going to happen to me? Ah! <laughs> To the six where I really stay, baby. Show you why I am the way I am. Can I tell you what I think my biggest flaw is, baby? I try to be consistent, but I can't. Can I have an honest moment with you right now, baby? Tell me who the fuck you wanna be. Can I get an honest answer from you right now, baby? Cause all we ever talk about is me. Can I before I turn the lights on? Before I turn the lights out, tell me who the fuck you wanna be Can I? Call a steady text you on the hotline Sometimes a nigga wanna hear your voice Can I? See you right now, I know the sun is up Baby Sorry I don't really have a choice Can I? Never make you feel like I'm down for you Baby You do so much more than that for me Can I? Finally take the time and open up to you Baby Cause that's the side you never get to see Can I?